so hello and welcome back in this video we will talk about basically small and large numbers in practical measurement meaning how you use essentially small and large numbers for measuring things practically and essentially measurement is something that is of course useful in many types of situations in uh, of course in in science essentially when you get to when you get to um, for example when you get to science and when you want to measure something meaning to measure for example the number of atoms for example in a molecule measure for example the the length of a rod measuring the volume of some cube or measure anything of course you're going to use essentially measurement and of course in measurement you have to use numbers right and it, and also in your day-to-day -day life you're going to you're going to essentially make measurements and they and without measurements and without numbers of course your daily life is not going to be possible for example when you go to a shop and you want to buy some potatoes so in order to buy potatoes you go to the shopkeeper and ask the shopkeeper to give you for example 1 kg of potatoes 1 kg or 2 kg or and so on and so forth or if you want to buy tomatoes if you want to buy i don't know anything um, essentially uh, if it's related to food for example so 1 kg right 2 kg so the number that you have here for example 1 kg it has or essentially this this measurement has two parts so you have the number and you have this part over here as well this over here is a number and this over here is a unit meaning that the unit is important the number is also important for example if you go to the shopkeeper and ask him to ask him or her to give you for example one meter of potatoes of course he or she would get confused because one meter of potatoes doesn't make doesn't make any sense really on the other hand if you go to to you want to essentially you want to buy a, a length of cloth for example you want to get yourself you want to um you want to go to the to essentially to to you want to have essentially you you want to get yourself some clothes and and for the clothes you need you need basically a, a piece of cloth for example to buy that piece that to buy that piece of cloth you need to go to the to the shop where they, they where they essentially where they sell cloth and meaning textile for example and then over there what you will what what you're going to do is that you ask you ask for example the shopkeeper to give you for example two and a half meters two and a half meters of this cloth or that cloth and so on and so forth so then in the cloth shop or in the textile shop if you ask the shopkeeper to give you for example one kilogram of this cloth he or she would get confused you would not get to your cloth at the end of the day essentially right so the the unit is important and also the number is important the number essentially is of course related to the unit right now these types of measurements essentially come in different of course in different variations meaning that there is there is there is essentially a there is different types of situations meaning that for example suppose that you have a pen or a pencil you have this this pencil over here and you want to know what is the length of the of the pencil from the from the very end of the pencil to the <coughs> to the tip of the pencil meaning essentially this distance meaning essentially this distance over here so you want to know what is what is basically this distance over here right 
in another situation essentially what you might what you might you might want to know is for example if you if you essentially take a look at the 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 end of your pencil you would see essentially a circle like this a very small circle of course now this circle has of course a any circle of course theoretically has a center and the center of essentially if you draw a line from the center of the circle to the to the circumference of the circle then of course this is going to be again a length that you might want to measure for example you want to know you want to know what is the radius of that of that circle that you see at the end of the pencil basically right so and then and then there is there is another there is another situation where for example you have it essentially the gate in front of your house it's it might be essentially something like this so that that might be essentially the gate and then the gate essentially has these two parts and then there is this this part of the gate this part of the gate and then there there might be a lock of some of some, some of some of some kind over here and you want to know essentially what is for example the length of this gate over here or essentially what is the length of this part of the gate right so you want to know what is the length of this part of the gate from here all the way up to here right on the other hand another situation would be for example suppose that you have let's say that this is india and for example over here is new delhi and over here is karnataka meaning some place in the in the in the south of india some place in the north of india right and of course for example let's say that you want you are in karnataka and you want to go to new delhi and you you want to know what is the distance meaning how long is it going to take you to get from karnataka to new delhi given your means of transportation for example you're going in a car or you're going in a in 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 and essentially a, in a train or something like that so which means that essentially you're over here you want to get to this place over here now what is the this distance over here how do you measure it right in the case of these different types of situations let's say that for example let's say that you have so essentially all of these situations represent a length right or essentially a distance so you have the length or or essentially a distance so now what is the distance from this point all the way up to this point on a pencil so it might be i don't know around for example and then for example for this to measure this distance what 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 sort of tool do you use in order to measure this distance you would use a ruler right that's essentially the common thing that you use in order to measure these types of distances so the ruler has essentially it's a it's like a rectangle and then you have basically one two three four five six seven eight and so on and so forth so this is one centimeter this is two centimeter this is three centimeter this is four centimeter and so on and so forth right and then you place your your ruler over here on the essentially from one end of the pencil to the end to the other end of the pencil and then you measure this distance as for example let's say 10 centimeters right now now so in this case essentially we used a, a ruler and we know that the, that the distance between from one end of the pencil to the under, other end of the pencil is 10 centimeters in this situation essentially what you will use is um, what you will use is essentially some sort of uh, measuring device for example a uh, something like a um, compass 
So what you can do is that essentially you know what a compass is. So basically a compass would be something like this. And then you have you have essentially two legs like this. One leg over here is essentially the tip of a pencil and the other the other end over here is essentially something like a needle and then using a compass what you can do is that you can of course uh, draw circles right but the compass can be used in order to measure essentially a, a distance like for example a couple of all the way up to a couple of centimeters for example so you you place one 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 end of the compass over here and another end of the compass over here and then of course you have to make adjustments so that the compass becomes as as small as the radius of the circle and then once essentially once you know essentially through the compass once you know what sort of distance we're de you're dealing with you can then place the compass on this on the on your ruler and then on your ruler you can read the distance basically and how do you do that essentially on a on a ruler like like this so you have essentially these markings that go from one centimeter two centimeter three centimeters but then between any two markings there is there is essentially 10 equal distances meaning that for example let's say that this is two centimeters and this is three centimeters right over here if you enlarge that you will have basically a essentially all of these little markings between the two centimeter and three centimeter markings so that would be one two three and four for example one two three and four and so this is this marking is halfway between two centimeter and three centimeter meaning two and a half centimeters and then this marking would be essentially after two centimeters this would be one millimeter two millimeters three four five millimeters six seven eight nine and ten millimeters which makes essentially a centimeter right so then if you place your compass on the on the ruler and read on the on the millimeter markings then you might say that for example the, the 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 radius of the circle is something like i don't know four four millimeters right so you might you might call this for example four millimeters right now in the case of this gate and you want to measure essentially the length of this gate of course you're not going to use a ruler because a ruler essentially is a small it's not very lengthy right and a gate a typical gate is at least one one meter at least a meter at least so then for this for this type of purpose you you're, you're going to to use essentially something some measuring device which is a little bit longer for example a meter stick one of those meter sticks that that, that essentially that are kind of small and round and then you can pull them out they go back in and so on so that's a meter um, for the essentially and you we have to 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 get the meter out of the out of the, the that 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 compartment that it has and then essentially measure the distance over here and then you might measure for example this as one meter for example right or essentially one meter or the whole thing might, might be for example two meters for example from here all the way up to here it would be two meters for example now in the case of in the case of the distance between Karnataka and New Delhi it might be now now the the exact number as as I looked up on the internet it's 1860 kilometers 1860 kilometers right so this number essentially 1860 kilometers 
if I were to express this in meters, for example, meaning that, for example, in the case of this gate, we said that the length of the the length of the gate is one meter, right? The length of, for example, one half of the gate is one meter. But then, 1860 kilometers. If I were to write this this number in 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 meters, that would be 18, 1860 and three zeros, meaning one one million. Uh, 860,000 meters basically so you see that the number be becomes quite large right um so so that is that is essentially it of course a large distance meaning that um, meaning that basically if you were to go from Karnataka to New Delhi even in a train that goes something like for example at least 200 something kilometers per hour meaning that the, that the train covers a distance of 200 kilometers in one hour on average basically right so so if i if you were to go in a train like this for example having this 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 sort of speed of 200 kilometers per hour meaning going really fast of course then it would take you at least a couple of days, meaning maybe th two, three days to get there, right? Or at least one and a half days, two days, basically. If you were to, to cover this distance on foot, and then of course you would have to walk for months and months and months to get there, to get there. So it's a long distance. It's, it's some, it's, 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 it's exactly 1,000, 1, 1,860,000 meters. So then, such large distances, when you want to express them, meaning the distance between two cities, two states, or two continents, or two countries, and, 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 and things like that, because it's a large distance, then you're going to use the unit kilometer, and not just the meter, because, as you can see, if you use just the meter, then the number becomes very large, and then, and then it's not customary to, essentially, among people to say, for example, the distance is one million eight hundred sixty thousand kilometers. Basically, you would you can just simply say one 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 thousand eight hundred sixty kilometers, or you could say around two thousand kilometers, right? So then, basically, you have essentially you have the essentially all the these are all the different units that you can that you can use for distance or or essentially for for length essentially so you have the um, you have the you have the centimeter you have the centimeter you have the millimeter you had essentially over here you had the meter and over here you had the kilometer the meter and the kilometer right so these are the different the different essentially units that we use for 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 the di for distance basically and of course as we mentioned the unit is always used with a number for example 2 centimeters or 5 millimeters or t 10 meters for example or 1000 kilometers or something like that right so that's that's basically that's essentially one thing that 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 you that essentially that you can that that's essentially one thing about measurement and large numbers and small numbers and uh, now i'm going to keep this video as it is and then in the in the next video we will we will talk about some other some other entities that you might want to you want might to you what you might essentially want to measure and then we make our conclusions at the end of the next videos thank you